last weekend and after Alex went to bed one night, I was like, I am going to tackle all of the clothes that I have gotten as hand-me-downs and sort them by size. And, and I was like, you know what? I want to go through Alex's old clothes and see if there are any of his that'll work for baby girl as well. And so, oh my gosh, I started with the hand-me-downs and oh, it was so much pink, so much pink. And I know I've mentioned this before, like, I, I don't mind a little bit of pink. I love girly clothes. I love, you know, frilly stuff and everything, but like, it just seems like there's this expectation now that if you're having a girl, everything, like the entire wardrobe is like expected to be pink. And it's just like, ah, oh, no thank you. <laughs> like, I don't like pink that much. I'm not a huge pink fan. I never have been. Like, even when I was a little girl, I didn't like pink. There was like one outfit that was, like a bluish onesie, but it had pink frillies around it. And, but I actually like that one because it's like, it was blue, but just with, you know, pink details, you know, and that's fine. And then there was one that was like a green and yellow um, little outfit, but the rest was all pink. Oh my God. But I was like, you know what? Beggars can be choosers. I'm just so grateful to be getting these hand-me-downs in the first place. And I'm going to just accept, you know, that the world we this is the world we live in and probably half of my little girl's clothes are going to be pink as it is no matter what i do <laughs> so i've kind of accepted that but i really am going to try to like balance it out with the clothes that i do buy um i really want to make sure that they are not pink and there was even like these two outfits that came in there that was like i'll show you a picture here but there was like pink camo oh and then there was like pink leopard print. And we're talking like hot pink, like Barbie pink. And oh, gag me. No, thank you. So I was like, there are a couple outfits in here that I can't even bring myself to put on my little girl. <laughs> so I'll just pass those on to somebody else who might want them. But anyway, so then I went through Alex's old clothes. And I was like, she can wear half of these clothes. I mean, because a lot of them are just like, you know, yellow and green onesies and stuff that are gender neutral. But there were some that are even supposed to be for boys that I was like, you know what? These would look really cute on a girl too. Who says a girl can't wear dinosaurs, <laughs> you know? There's like this really cute little blue onesie with this adorable little dinosaur on it. And I'm like, I'll just put a bow on her head and have her wear a dinosaur, <laughs> you know? And I'll put some pictures in here. But there were a number of other like um, jammies and onesies and pants and stuff that Alex had that I was like, I can totally use these for baby girl. Um, and I love that they're every color but pink. <laughs> and so anyway, so I like sorted out like half of his old clothes, added them to the collection of the baby girl clothes. So I feel like, oh, now I have a nice balance of pink and non-pink. <laughs> so anyway, so I got them all sorted out. Like I have a, like a grocery, like a paper grocery bag with like each size. I was like getting really organized about it. So I have like a newborn size, zero to three months, three months, you know, three, six months, six months, you know, um, it just felt really good to do that. And I feel like those are all ready to go now. When her room is ready, we can put them in the closet. Oh, and speaking of the pink thing, my mom and mother-in-law and aunt are putting together a baby shower for me in mid February. So I'm excited about that. And I made sure to tell them to put on the invite to um, have people limit the pink <laughs> and so we put that on there and hopefully most of the gifts I will be getting will not be too much pink anyway so that it felt so good to like get that organizing done of all of those clothes and I also ordered a double stroller this week oh my gosh I'm so excited about it this is you know normally we buy absolutely everything used like we try to get deals on everything we decided that since we have everything every single item of baby gear we pretty much need already because we bought everything gender neutral for Alex. We're like, we're going to make one splurge purchase here and that is going to be the double stroller. <laughs> and so we actually talked with our families and they have decided to contribute to it as well. So the amount that we're gonna be paying, it'll be about half of the total cost. So even though it's a really expensive stroller, um, we're gonna be paying a much more reasonable price because our families are chipping in as well. Um, but the stroller I ordered was the City Select, and um, this thing is amazing. Like, it is so versatile. You can um, get an attachment to put a car seat in, you can put, you can attach two regular seats, and the seats can be facing each other, they can be, you know, one behind the other. Um, it is just so versatile. And, like, once Alex gets to be, like, three or four, you can get one of these, like, 
what do they call it, a, a glider board that you attach to the back so the kid can like stand on it. And so, you know, I'm feeling like this stroller is going to last us for the rest of our kid's childhood. <laughs> it's, it is such an awesome stroller and I'm so excited about it. Um, I was looking on Craigslist to get one because, you know, I do like to find things used. But somebody on there had actually done this like little public service announcement, I guess it was, but they were saying, I just went to this website called Stroller Depot and um, used this coupon code and got an amazing deal on a City Select stroller. And so I was like, hmm, maybe I should look into this. And so I researched the company and make, made sure this was legit, not like a you know, sketchy Craigslist kind of thing. <laughs> and it really was. I read a bunch of reviews and they're like, Stroller Depot is awesome. And so I went to their website and sure enough, for the same stroller that was on Amazon for like an outrageous like $670 or something just out of this world, um, on Stroller Depot it was $519. And I know that's like way more than we would ever spend on a stroller, but because our families are pitching in and this is the stroller we really wanted and we thought it just one splurge, <laughs> decided to go for it because it was like way cheaper than all of the other places you can get the same stroller. So <clears throat> I ordered it and I am so excited about it. I got it in red. <laughs> anyway, so that should be arriving this next week and hopefully I'll do a review of that once I use it down the road.